Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this Thursday mountain weather update. Let's go up to Big Sky, Montana, and there goes the, uh, the Lone Peak Tram into the distance, into the snow. It is snowing there. I'm expecting light to moderate snow accumulations today. They're already reporting four inches of accumulation up there at uh, Big Sky with some additional in the, uh, the forecast. All right, let's go up to Revelstoke. Looking like a great day in Revelstoke. They're reporting at least five, six inches of new snow up there, and you've got a You've got a nice extended forecast with a couple different shots of heavy snow accumulation, a rich flow, but the, the other part of the equation is going to be a higher rain snow line, a higher, higher elevation rain snow line with warmer air coming in eventually. Um, so let me show you radar across the west right now. Still some residual snow kind of rolling across the Tetons, Yellowstone, up on the northwest Montana, some snow up there in the high cascades and the volcanoes. So kind of a residual flow. Up in the northeast, a warm storm system is uh, moving in with some snow on the backside through parts of uh, Michigan. But this is going to move into the northeast with a rain-snow mix late tonight into tomorrow morning, and it will be elevation dependent. The higher, obviously, the higher elevations will get the snow. Here's water vapor across uh, the low levels across the west here. Let me just uh, mark the key features. So the oranges and reds are going to be your drier air at the low levels. Your moisture is going to be in the whites and the blues. And there is a storm system up here. And you can see the rich flow behind it. Let me draw that in green. So this entire flow is being directed into this area. So the Pacific Northwest, BC, and some of that's overrunning into Idaho, Montana, and also the Tetons. And that's going to kind of be the situation. Um, for a while. And there will be little pieces of energy that kind of come out of the northern tier and affect Utah and Colorado at times as well. But by and large, let me take you to my uh, bullet points. By and large, um, this flow pattern, uh, once we get to about 322, 323, is really going to just favor the Pacific Northwest BC uh, with the best precip, the best moisture. But that's also going to bring in warmer air, and that's going to push the rain snow line up, for example, to 4,500 feet into interior BC. So that's pretty significant. Um, you're going to have to be pretty high up to get uh, the snow. Throw a lot of Revelstoke, Kicking Horse, Red Mountain, Fernie. Um, and then high pressure still on tap for a lot of the west. A big ridge is going to build in between 323 and 328. It'll be warmer and drier during that time frame. Here's my snow timeline. Best odds of snow for Big Sky, the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Interior, BC, the Pacific Northwest, and Tahoe, and the Northeast. For example, there's Big Sky, light to moderate accumulations today, and then moderate on 322. And the Wasatch, your next shot of moderate accumulation, and it's going to be brief, and we'll drill down on it here in a second, is going to be late 321 into 22. And then it's pretty dry. In the Tetons, you've got moderate snow today. I showed you that on radar. Uh, heavy on 22 and then light 23, 24. In Colorado, you've got some light snow late today, and I mean light. Um, and then you've got moderate to heavy, 321 into 22, and then it's pretty dry and warm after that. All the rain snow lines are going to go up to higher elevations during that high pressure ridge. Now I got nothing for Tahoe up in the northeast. There's your mix. Uh, late tonight, and then some moderate snow accumulation still possible on 324. Okay, drilling down to Alta, Utah, this is the forecast mediagram, effective about 9,000 feet. So dry today uh, and pretty and warming up, uh, mid 20s, a little bit of wind. But here comes this front right here. This is that little, uh, there's a little kink, a little bit of energy that kind of brushes the Wasatch late Friday into early Saturday. Winds kick up to about 40. 45 miles per hour. Uh, initially, the winds are out of the southwest, and they turn and come out of the west-northwest. But a quick six, six and a half inches, not out of the question, for Alta, Snowbird, Solitude, and Brighton. Less as you go north. But um, it's going to be brief. I mean, look at that. It's in and it's out in, in under, I mean, maybe six hours. High temps on Saturday, mid-20s, and a little bit warmer there on Sunday. Okay, let's... Um, Let's take a look at the jet stream forecast. So let me start this uh, today. So there's your jet forecast. You can kind of see how it's a bit of a west-northwest flow. Little ripples are coming in across uh, the Pacific Northwest, and it gets steered down into the uh, the, the Intermountain in the Intermountain West. Okay, so let's move this ahead. And again, these are winds up at about 30,000 feet. The brighter colors are the stronger winds. Um, as we move into Friday, same kind of thing. Now, uh, Saturday, another little kink comes through the Intermountain. Then we start to settle in 
to the big high pressure ridge. Look at the arcing to the north of the jet. It's way up into Canada, which means we're going to bottle up all the cold air and it's going to be much, much warmer beneath this high pressure ridge across the west. Warmer than normal. Temps, I think, are going to run 15 to 30 above the norm and we're going to have pretty dry conditions. Okay, let me run this all the way out. There's Tuesday of next week, there's Wednesday, and there's Thursday. You can see a bit of a trough there over parts of the Pacific. We'll have to see uh, when that arrives across the West Coast. So there is some hope there. It's just way down the road. Um, let's do snow accumulation over time. So on this um, forecast, you're looking at the light blues, that's under three inches. The greens are three to six. Yellow six plus, red's 10 plus. So start this today. Most of the action's up in the Pacific Northwest Northern Tier, as expected. Okay, here we are late today. Here's early on Friday, a little bit of snow, brushing potentially the central to northern mountains of Colorado, very, very light. Uh, okay, midday on Friday, uh, there's early Saturday. Now, early Saturday, and this is the next kind of kink coming down the flow, some decent snow through Washington, Oregon, Idaho, northwest Montana, and some for the Tetons, and then it kind of brushes uh, Utah with that quick shot of snow, including the central to northern mountains of Colorado. There you go. That's midday on Saturday. And then it fades. There's early Sunday. There's midday Sunday. Uh, most of the flow is up into BC, northern tier, Pacific Northwest. There's early Monday to March 24th. Uh, big high pressure ridge across the west at this point. Um, early Tuesday. There's early Wednesday. Early Thursday. Early Friday. You get the, you get the idea. Okay, my official forecast numbers, uh, all of today through 324, anywhere from 3 to 6 inches in the Wasatch. Again, that's that very brief, fast cold front that hits that area. About a foot up there in the Tetons. Um, the big numbers in, in Montana are up in the northwest Montana corner uh, from a lot of whitefish down to Snowbowl and Discovery, looking at probably 15 to 20 inches there. In Colorado, anywhere from 2 to 8 inches of accumulation. Most of that's in the central to northern mountains. Very light south in northern New Mexico. Um, up in the parts of interior BC, still looking at probably 10 to 20 inches of accumulation, but again, the rain snow line is going to move much higher. 6 to 10 through parts of Banff Sunshine up to Marmont, and still looking at potentially 1 to 3 feet through a lot of the Pacific Northwest, um, from Whistler Black Home all the way down through Baker, Crystal, Stevens, Timberline, and Bachelor, and basically nothing for California. Okay, up in the northeast, the numbers have come down just a touch. Remember, there is going to be a mix coming in late tonight, tomorrow morning. And a better shot potentially on the 24th, but I'm not talking big numbers. Potentially moderate accumulations here, anywhere from 2 to 8 inches of accumulation. All right, we'll end on the big western map here, guys. And uh, once again, probably uh, one last quick snow for a lot of Utah and Colorado before high pressure uh, that high pressure ridge settles in. So enjoy the snow while we've got it. All right, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care. Have a great day.